Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you about total anomalous pulmonary venous return imaging. Terminology, total anomalous pulmonary venous return, tapia or drainage, any filler of connection between pulmonary veins and left aging. Category, cyanotic, heart size, and pulmonary vascularity depend on time. All pulmonary venous return go to right heart, extra cardia, left to right shun. All type and damage region. Supra cardia. Total anomalous pulmonary venous return, Taiwan, 4G to 50%. Vertical common pulmonary vein joint left in nominate vein. Cardiac total anomalous pulmonary venous return, type 2. 20 to 30% common pulmonary vein joint coronary sinus or right atrium. Infra cardiac total anomalous pulmonary venous return actually 10 to 30 percent common pulmonary vein joint portal vein ductus venosus or inferior vena cover. Presentation, most common signs symptom, type 1 and type 2, congestive heart failure, type 3, severe sinusitis and failure, patent vector satirosis, persistent fetal circulation. Imaging, cardiomegaly, type 1, type 2, small heart, type 3, shun vascularity, type 1 and type 2, pulmonary edema, type 3, type 1, snow, Man heart, type 2, indistinguishable from adrenal defect, type 3, small heart, reticular pattern in lungs, edema. This is the first example of the chest actually in a newborn. So, diffuse pulmonary edema with small bilateral photo diffusion. Note that the heart is normal in this patient with a mixed type of total anomalous pulmonary venous return. This is the OIP CTA of an infant with absorptive type 3 total anomalous pulmonary venous return so that the pulmonary vein connect to a long -like vertical vein. The, then drain below the alpha. This is the cheradiograph, so a snowman apparent of the superior megasthenium in a patient with a supracardiac total anomalous venous, only venous return. The left side of the covering on the border of the superior left megasthenium, the dilated innominate vein and superior vena cover from the superior and right border of the superior megasthenium respectively. So that makes up a um, snowman. <sighs> this is the MIP cardiac CTA in an so on rewind, emptying directly into the right atrium, not the isolated left atrium. MIP cardiac CTA and infant so the pulmonary vein draining 
into a wide vertical line which go below the diaphragm and empty into the portal vein. Treatment Prostaglandin E1 to improve systemic diffusion in pulmonary hypertension. Preoperative extracorporeal membrane oxygenation it is occasionally necessary to improve oxygenation and systemic diffusion. Early surgical anastomosis or pulmonary venous confirmed to left atrium. Angioplasty of distal pulmonary vein is often required after surgery due to stenosis. Thank you.